morning students okay how are you today good today we are going to learn an interesting topic okay are you ready for today's class yes let's start our class okay before moving to the class I am going to ask you some questions. You have to answer it. Okay. Okay. Do you like shopping? Yes, we all like shopping. Then which one is the recent products you buy? Okay. Okay, good, good, good. Is it well packed or not? Yes, it is well packed. Then is there a need for packaging? Yes, there is a need for packaging. Then why it is important? The packaging. Why the packaging is very important? Yes, packaging is used for protecting the goods from damages during transportation and storage. Okay, so today we are discussing about the topic, yes, packaging. One of the most recent developments affecting the business world is in the area of packaging. One of the most important developments affecting the business is in the area of packaging. Packaging plays an important role in the marketing success or failure of many products, particularly the consumer non-durable goods. Okay, the packaging plays an important role in the marketing success or failure of many products. Okay. For example, Maggi noodles. Do you like Maggi noodles? Yes. Do ever its packaging attracts you? Yes. No. Okay. The packaging of the Maggi noodles plays an important role to make it one of the best successful products in the recent past. Okay, so packaging refers to the act of producing the container or wrapper of a product. Packaging refers to the act of designing or producing the container or wrapper of a product. Is it clear? Yes. Okay, now I am going to show you some products. You have to identify it. Okay. Okay. Then what is this? Yes, it was a perfume. Then it was a perfume which I was bought from the market. From, uh, I bought from the shop. Then it was available in this layer of a cardboard box. Okay. Then I am going to open this. Once I open this, we can see that there is a fancy glass bottle in it. Can you see this? Yes. Then what type of packaging is this? Yes, this is primary package and this one is secondary packaging. The immediate container in which this perfume contains is called primary packaging. And this box acts as a protection box, right? Yes. This additional layer of this protection box is called secondary packaging. Here we can see the two types of packaging. This one is primary packaging and this one is yes, secondary packaging. Once I started using this perfume, I am 
going to discard this additional protection box. Okay. Once I am going to start this perfume, I am going to discard this secondary packaging. And keep using this primary packaging. But in some cases, we discard the primary packaging also. Okay. I will show you an example. Then, can you see this? Yes, this is an eraser. Okay. And when I bought, it was packed with this polythene cover. Can you see this polythene packaging? Yes. Once I have started using this eraser, I discard this. I discard this. Packaging. Okay. In some cases, we keep the primary packaging and in some cases, we discard this primary packaging. Okay. Is it clear? Yes. I am going to show you more examples. What type of packaging is this? Yes, this is primary packaging. Then... What type of packaging is this? This is a crayons box. Okay. Then what type of packaging is this? Yes, it is also a primary packaging. Then, this is a gum. We will call gum. Then, what type of packaging is this? Yes, this is primary packaging. Okay. Then, what is this? Yes, this is a toothpaste. Then, what type of packaging is this? Yes, this is primary packaging and this is secondary packaging. For all you understood this primary packaging and secondary packaging clearly. Okay? Okay. Then, have you seen large card boxes like this? large cardboard boxes are used yes for protecting the goods yes these type of large cardboard boxes are used for protecting the goods from damages during the time of transportation and the storage hence it is called transportation packaging for example when you have ordered a product in online, you receive the product. Yes, you receive the product in this type of cardboard boxes. Why? Yes, for protecting the goods. Here, in this cardboard box. Here we can see that. Can you see this? Fragile, handy with the care. So, this type of packaging is called transportation packaging okay here i show you three types of packaging the first one is primary packaging then secondary packaging and the last one is transportation packaging so we have learned about the three levels of packaging which are they yes primary secondary and transportation packaging. Okay. Levels of packaging. The levels of packaging are first one is primary packaging. Then secondary packaging. And the last one is Yes, good. Transportation packaging. Okay. We all know that there are so many functions performed by the packaging for the marketing success or failure of any products. We have already told about that. Okay. Okay. So, I am going to giving some examples. You have to identify the various functions of packaging. Okay. Okay. Suppose these 
are the two products. Okay. This one is toothpaste and the other one is a face wash. Okay. Can you see this? Can all see this? Yes. How you identify this as a toothpaste and this as a face wash? By its packaging, right? Yes. So packaging greatly helps to identify the products. Okay. So what is the first function? Yes, the first function of packaging is product identification. Okay. Suppose you have ordered a beautiful doll from online. And you receive the product in the large cardboard box like this. Why the product is wrapping in this large cardboard box? Yes. To protect the product, right? So, the packaging can be used to protect the contents of the product from leakage, breakage, spoilage, damage and climatic conditions. The packaging can be used to protect the contents of the product from yes, spoilage, breakage, damage and climatic conditions. And also this is required at the levels of transportation, storage and distribution of the products. So, the second function of packaging is product protection. What is the first function of packaging? Yes, product identification. Then what is the second one? Yes, product protection. Okay, good. Now, I show you some examples. Okay. Can you see this picture? Yes. Then this was a powdered thing. Okay. Then I named it Ponds. This was Ponds powdered thing and this was the Ponds powder available in container box. Okay. The last one. Can you see this? Yes. Okay. Then this was a ponds powder available in a powder tin and this was the powder available in the container box. Okay. Which one is more convenient to use? This maya. Which one is more convenient to use? Yes. The ponds available in the this type of thing is more convenient to use. Okay. Good. I know. Which one is convenient to you? Okay. I know also say that she is more convenient with using this one. Okay. So, the packaging of the product should be more convenient to use, handle and open to its customers. Okay. The packaging of the product should be convenient to handle, use, open to its customers. Okay. Okay. So, which is the third function? The third function is facilitating the use of product. Okay. Here, we have discussed about the three functions of packaging. Which is the first one? Yes, product identification. Uh, product protection. Good. Then, facilitating the use of product. Very good. Okay. Then I am showing you some products. Okay. This one. These are the two face wash available in the markets of different brands. Then this one is uh, Biotics face wash and this one is Lotus. Lotus face wash. 
Okay. Okay, suppose you are uh, going to buy a face wash. And you are not aware about this product. This uh, biotics and this lotus face wash. You have no idea about this product. And uh, when you uh, when you go into a shop, only these two are available in the shop. Okay. Then which one did you prefer? Okay. And you prefer this. Why you prefer this one? Okay, because it attracts you, right? Yes, the beautiful packages may attract the consumers. Beautiful packages may attract the consumers more. Then, look at this. Then it has a photograph. Right, can you see this photograph? Yes, it has a photograph, then a type of verse and a color scheme. Okay, this attracts I choose to prefer this, right? Yes, good. So, the beautiful packages may attract the consumers and also it is used for promotional purposes. Okay. So, which is the last function? Yes, packaging is used for promotion. Okay, good. Then, the first function we have learned is yeah, product identification. And which one has the second? Yes, product protection. Then third one is facilitating the use of product. And last one is good, product promotion. Okay. So today we have discussed about the three levels of packaging. Which are the three levels? Yes, primary packaging, secondary packaging and the last one is transporting transportation packaging. Okay, then we have already told that the packaging plays an important role for the marketing success or failure of many products. Okay. Then, which are the main functions? Yes, the main functions of packaging are, first one is product identification. The packaging helps to identify the products. Okay, then the second one is product protection. The packaging protects the content of the product from spoilage, leakage, breakage, damage and climate conditions. Then the third one is facilitating the use of product. The size and shape of the product must be convenient to open, use and handle. And the last one is product promotion. The packaging can also be used for the promotion of the products. Okay. Huh? You clear all these topics. Okay. Okay. Then let me ask you some questions. Okay. Achoo, what is meant by packaging? Yes, very good. Sit down. Anu, what are the main functions of packaging? Okay, very good. Rashid, what is meant by primary packaging? Okay, good. Hope all you understand these topics. Okay? Okay. Then, prepare a knot based on packaging and its functions. 